Are you tired of your kids just sitting around playing video games all day? I am. So how about teaching them some AI and making some fun stuff with it too? Hey everyone, I'm Dave Basulto. I parents, teachers, and students how to use AI effectively. So follow and subscribe for more. So as you can see my friend up here, he's a really cool character I created from my, one of the games that I play. And I'm going to show you how to make this. So I'm going to play this video real quick and then we'll backtrack and show you how we all did it. Let's take a look. So that's a little bit of a bigger project that I'm working on, but I wanted to show you guys how we can replicate this with you and your kids doing it. All it needs is a little chat GPT or Gemini or whatever your flavor of AI chat assistant is. And we're going to use a tool like mid journey, or you can even use firefly or Leonardo. Any of those will work. So we're going to create some cool text. We're going to bring it in and create images from it and then either animate it or just use the images to make a story. Let's dive in. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to chat GPT and I actually, I'm going to walk you through my process that I did here. So before we get going, there is a prompt I created here after a lot of different prompts I worked on. And this one is super cool. It's create a completely original video game hero for a new action adventure game, or you can put a new puzzle game or a new sports game, whatever, fill in the blanks. Include the character's name, the age, personality, backstory, special powers, weaknesses, costume design, signature weapon, if they need a weapon. And one fun fact, make it exciting and creative like something from EverQuest or World of Warcraft. You can, of course, put your own games in there. Those are two that I play quite a bit. And then I said, keep it kid friendly, of course. <laughs> so once it goes through that, and this is something you sit down with your kid and you say, what game are we going to create? Maybe it's a Roblox game. You know, what are we going to work a character for? And then, so that gives you some nice time with dialogue. But I ended up making this really cool profile. So my character's name is Bramblepaw the Wildlight, which is kind of fun. You saw it was a fox, so it turned it into a 16-year-old fox in fox folk years, which is really 25 in human years. And he's part of the foxkin race, which is mystical humanoid fox race. So you saw all that. And then goes into his personality. He's super playful, trickster, fiercely loyal. His backstory here, where he came from, all that super cool stuff. So you're creating this fun story with your kid. Special powers. And remember, all of these are customizable. You can go back and say, can we change the backstory to XYZ? Or can his special powers be this, lasers, or whatever? So you can always go back and, and twink things out and fix them his signature weapon so there's that and then weaknesses and and his costume design his fun fact he collects shiny buttons from all the city he visits so that's kind of funny so then it asked me do i want to use leonardo or firefly to prompt this to design it visually so firefly is an adobe product leonardo is its own product they both have free samples to try so you can get do so many images for free I'm using mid journey, which is one of my favorite tools to create text to image because it, now it does text to video as well, or image to video, I should say. I'll dive into that just really quickly in a second. So after I said that, I said, you know, please create five prompts for me to use in mid journey for this character. I want to create a short trailer. If I wanted to get deeper into it, I could also say, ask me any questions you may have before you begin this task. So it went in there and it said, created these first five. So this is the first prompt. All you do is copy and paste it into the app that you're using in the prompt box. For this particular one, and I'm gonna go through them in a second. The first shot was incredible, you saw it. The second two started to become very Pixar-ish. So let's dive into, into Mid Journey. So here we are, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit until we get to, so these were the first images that it created for me. And in mid journey here, you just click on create and up here on the top and you just type in whatever you want it to do. Um, so these were the first images that it created. And I thought these were really great off the back. So then once you pick one that you like, and of course you click on them and you can see what they are and how great they look. Next thing I can do is click on this new animate tool here so I can animate it and turn it into a video clip. So if I scroll down, 
These are the ones that it started to do for me. It made some really cool video clips. You can extend it automatically. So I actually made these a little bit longer up here for my video. And then the next one, if I go back into chat for one second, you'll see here as the next one, it's uh, where is it? Anthro Fox Warrior spinning through the air, blah, 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 blah. And then somewhere down here, anima, anime style energy for effects, blah, blah, blah. So I started looking at some of these other prompts and here was the next prompt. And while this is super cool, this is very Pixar or the other animation companies out there. This is their kind of thing. And I wasn't going for an animated video. So I wanted to change this around a little bit. I'm going to X out right here. If I keep going down, this was another one I created. And you can kind of see the other images I did later in the video that how they came out. But this was him doing his spell and some roots started coming out. So all really cool stuff. I just didn't want to use them for this particular because the first scene, I'm going for realism. I want to make this person look real. So I had to go back in chat GPT and then I went down here. I said, so the prompts you're making are making illustrated images, but I wanted realistic ones. Please redo two to five. And it said, absolutely. A revised mid journey prompt set of mid journey prompts are available. So instead of illustrated or Pixar style. So, um, like you would see in a Chronicle of Narnia, Warcraft, or the Witcher type show. So here we go. So I went in and I started to copy these in there. And if we scroll down a little bit. These started to look really cool. This one was one that I wanted. And so I, when I picked the one that I wanted, it went in there and animated it. You can see all the different ones that it did for me. And then I wanted it an uh, extended one of them to make it like nine seconds long or 10 seconds long. And then I did the same for the next one. I started to have some really cool images. This is where he's spell casting. And then I animated these right here. And then I went to some next ones and you see how it started to really make these lifelike instead of doing that kind of cartoon kind of looking thing. And it's just all about trial and error. If you don't like these, you can tweak this this prompt and you can do it on your own or use chat to give some tweaks to it. Maybe you want different colors, whatever you can keep tweaking it and then bringing it back into your tool that you're using. And so I eventually went with this one here on the right where he's, or which one, one of the, this one in the bottom, I think where he's like hitting it, like see right there, all the dirt. I like that. So I made that one. And then the last one, I wanted him a close up of him where he's going to talk about his trails and stuff. And I can add voiceovers and sound effects and, so these are all of them that we did really cool stuff here. I extended this one as well. So then you just take all your stuff, you download them. So once you pick one you like, like, let's just say I'll call I'll select this one. I like to go to the top right here. You can download it for social media, but I download the raw video. I want the best quality that it has. So I download that there. Then also something I like to do is click on the heart because it lets mid journey know that I really liked what they did there. And it really helps next time when they're producing images for me. So this is it. So I'm going to get out of there and that's mid journey. It's really cool. I definitely recommend trying it out. It's a really awesome tool to use for imagery. I mean, you saw, I went from real life and Pixar looking, I mean, it can do anything. Let me just go to the front page really quick. These are some of the, I mean, this person looks real. These all look very real. <laughs> so you can be as creative as you want with this tool and make some awesome videos as far as I'm concerned. All you need is some imagination and a little help maybe with ChatGPT. So now I'm going to go into CapCut, which is the editor I'm using, but you can certainly use any editing tool you have. iMovie comes free on the iPhone, iPad, also the computer, you can get iMovie, but CapCut's my choice for this particular one. If I was going to go and make something really professional, I might use Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci, which are more professional level tools. And it's interesting because I can really, I mean, looking at some of the stuff here, this could be something cinematic and make and turn it into like a little video, like coming of age movie with the Fox. <laughs> so this is it. So inside of CapCut, this is the layout. It's a really simple tool. You just import your videos right here's the import button. It lets you pick whatever you want, you import it. And then once it's in here, you just can either drag it down to the timeline or you can hit the plus button. It'll start adding it in the timeline. 
What's super cool about this tool that I really like is that once I had it all edited, I went into this audio tool here and I clicked on it once. And I wanted it, after it says yours, there is AI music. Let me see if I can go back. So in AI music, you can, and it's totally free to generate AI music, you can generate your own music. So I said a cinematic theme for a Lord of the Rings type of movie trailer. I didn't know if it would know Warcraft or my other game. And so that was it. I hit go and it created all of these here. I ended up picking a Heroic Dawn Overture, which we're using down here. And what's nice too is I can see the beats where I can trim my footage to to start the next scene. And just a really simple, fun thing to do. I can start to add text. I can go in to make voiceovers. This is a story of a young fox, you know, whatever. And so you can begin to create these really interesting videos of characters that you and your kid created. So be storytellers. Don't just absorb content all the time. Start making some. So I hope you like this. If you do, let me know in the comments. And I love helping parents and students learning how to use AI. I'll see you in the next video.